Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? How are the Gemini? I was just with the Gemini. Well, I've been, I'm with the Gemini every freaking day. <laughs> okay. So, no. But I had, I had, a, I had a client, all right, uh, who is a Gemini, very close to me. It was just a lovely, lovely day. If it's a song, lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Yeah, you know, that, you know, that song. I think it was being played also in I Am Legend when he was exercising. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know if I can use that movie right now. I think let's stay away from reference to to the actor. Okay, you know what? Reverse, rewind. Okay, so let's let's start your reading. Awkward. Okay, so here we go. Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna do your astrology. We're gonna do your tarot. We're gonna do your intuitive. We have the celestial crystal. We're gonna do the cartomancy. What we're not gonna do is think of your ex. <laughs> Sal, uh, no. You can think about them as much as you'd like. Hopefully they think about you also. Just saying. Because we can't have someone living inside our head rent-free. At least your landlord knows that. Mm-hmm. Exacto mundo. Here we go. Sal, what is up with you? No, I'm just keeping it real. We're doing 100. <laughs> so let's begin with the planets for the Gemini. All right. Welcome. Okay, so um, for anybody who wants to get their chart also interpreted, six months, 12 months, okay, you can get it there. And if you don't know your sidereal chart, you can also go in the description box below and get the whole shabangles of report. It is very important, especially to the Gemini, because the Gemini either will get a soulmate, a karmic, or a traumatic breakup. Mm -hmm. For some, not everybody. That's why you need to know your chart. Okay, so let's start here. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So one thing good is that we're out with that, uh, you know, the snake, the Kalasarpa Yoga. So that's been out, you know, good for you, Gemini. Okay, so you're a survivor of all sorts. That I can tell you. Okay. Um, there is going to be a future travel here that I'm seeing. Might be on delay, but there is. Okay, it's going to manifest. Um, but there's a lot of delay. Mm -hmm. Not auspicious for travel, especially in the next 30 days. If it's, if it's foreign, I feel like it. you may think that it's going to be good, but then there's going to be some, again, some delay, like a package is lost, your passport, your visa, your wallet, something to that, you know, to that degree. Um, it's about miscommunication also during the travel. Uh, maybe your, you know, you thought your flight is this, and then this is the time, you know, and then it's quite confusing because you you would want to like just feel good and relax, but it doesn't end up as a relaxing time. Does it make sense? Okay, so that's that one. Now um, there is a chance for you to uh, finish a hobby, a project. You have all these ideas to start, you know, your own website, creativity. You're doing it. You're taking action. You're giving. Um, I feel like you're giving love advice to other people. Um, you're giving. Uh, you know, good guidance to other people. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Um, stability and career. You're just basically walking on cloud nine right now. Everybody at work loves you. Mm -hmm. There's not much haters here. I don't think so. Um, but there may be some fights, arguments with your father, teacher, or guru. There may be some interruption in education. If you're going for higher education, you will get there, but interruption is there. So I'm not sure what kind of interruption it is, but it's like unforeseen, like, okay, where you're submitting it already and then something happened that it didn't go through. So just make sure you follow up, you know, maybe just the application is lost. Mm -hmm. um, finishing of degree is here. So if you are pursuing a master's, PhD, um, any kind of degree, also pedigree, you can finish it. This is a very good time for you. Okay. Um, um, I feel like you will have a lot of earnings and income here, but there's also a lot of expenses. Well, that's what you need. You know, at least there's income because there's outcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it balances it off. Business wise, this is a good time for the Gemini to get into business. You will have this, what do you call it? Natural. Like it's just innate in you. You're gifted. You just you just know what you're doing. And I I would suggest like really getting invested in cryptocurrency. Um, I rarely would say that. Um, how to say this? A stock market. Um, the the, the trade. The trade. You know, not the trade because the other one is the trade. In my lingo, is different. When 
someone is in the trade, that's different. Okay, Google what it means. <laughs> There's a meaning if you're in the trade. Okay, I cannot put it here, but you can go to Urban Dictionary. <laughs> so, um, I see here that there is going to be some... Um, uh, some sorry, I got distracted. There was just something. There was a perfection in front of me. I'm kidding. Okay, so uh, I'm seeing here that there is a communication. Uh, like if you have a younger sibling, a little bit emotional. Um, you know, like they would need your advice. Um, you know, feeling of loss because you know Mercury. I feel like that you know in the twelfth house. You know, if you have a younger sibling or daughter or son um they feel like they don't know what they're doing and where they're going okay it could have happened already also the eclipse happened in your earnings so we need to start working hard you have the career the backing of a business to support whatever you're going to be spending which is good you will have you know you you have no problems for work right now um for the next 12 months it's going to be sweet this is the time where you just blossom you are the apple of the eye of your boss just letting you know you cannot do ro no wrong well, provided that you know your chart. Because what if you're Leo Ascendant? Then that's different. <laughs> you are not the apple of the eye. <laughs> a Gemini Ascendant is what I'm referring. Moon in Gemini is what I'm referring. Um, for people who are going through their Rahu Dasha, okay, or Ketu Dasha, or Antar Dasha, um, this is a karmic time for your romantic connection. Mm -hmm. This is also a karmic time for um, the ancestors that is giving you gifts meaning you will receive an influx of wisdom blessing and guidance all these things um but when i say karmic you know you would have to do good you would need to use this for something good um you may also uh, have the need or the urge to connect with your how do you call this auntie uncle grandma grandparent because k2 is uh, you know like because it brings you happiness when you're around them um so this is going to be a good time to connect with relatives distant relative relatives um it make it will give you a sense of comfort um i'm seeing here also that you may get some earnings from your father or money from your father um but this is also um how to say this like if you are into gemstones and crystals I feel like you are going to be making money or purchasing some sort of gemstones. More into gems, not really about gold. More into gems, not really gold. This is what they say, gemstones. Okay, so that's the first part. Welcome. We're just starting. So if this is PE, physical education, back then, you know, you know when you do that, I don't know why my teacher, okay, well... To you know, I I don't understand. Okay, and they went to school for that. <laughs> I'm I'm not making fun of you guys, but maybe that was a thing that time when I was <laughs> physical education. The stretching is just crazy. Okay, so anyhow, let's begin. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we doing now? Oh, we're gonna do the oracle. So uh, if you guys like the long format, you can always click like and subscribe and share this to the universe. Everything that you share, you know, comes to you in tenfold. So if you believe in that, you better share this mother video, okay? You better like this mother video. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Here we go, Gemini. Let's see. Let's see. I'm seeing here someone is going to be directing a film. Mm -hmm. Peace again. I got this for Capricorn. Can I get more? Okay. Ending peace. Let me see. Ruler of your fourth house is Mercury. Ooh, child. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Travel. I told you there is travel. Commitment. Ooh, child. All right. So there may be a travel long distance, you know, and someone's going to come towards you and you will find peace. All right. There can be a commitment right now that gives you this wonderful energy. Love, love, love. Right? Hi, Chrissy. <laughs> and then travel over here. When we travel, we explore Rahu. Okay. When we when we do something new, it is Rahu. So it's something that we never experience, and it's in your know, eleventh house. This can be traveling with friends, okay, which is good. Um, this can be like a resort. Um, this can be a spiritual travel also. Um, th but this is this can be uh, you know foreign land or just a road trip. Okay. I believe that here in this commitment that you have, okay, it's a bond. You're enjoying this, and it's actually good. It is a soulmate. Okay. Um, you guys are the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. So that's the commitment part. And what I like here is like you are coming with peace and balance. 
Now, Mercury is going to go retrograde your Lagna Lord and also your fourth house Lord on May 10 and then 30 days from that. So what does it mean for you? Big changes on how, one, your sleep is going to be. Some of you guys might experience sleep paralysis, so be careful on that one. I don't know if that's something that need, we need to be aware of. Um, some, you know, like a little bit disturbed, okay? A little bit overthinking, so I need you to do some um, pranayama, breathing exercise. It's, you know, it's going to be good. Lavender spray, lavender mist is going to be good also. Taking a cold shower every morning is going to be good for you to remove that, um, you know, that feeling of tense in the head because um, this, the retrograde will affect you. It's your Lagna Lord, okay? More than uh, any other zodiac, also with Virgo. This is going to affect you and it's a house of, it's a 12th house. 12th house is also isolation. This is also visiting the doctor. This is also, um, how to say this, um, because we call this asylum, you know, not that you're going to an asylum, but normally a secluded place, all right? So you may find yourself feeling alone in a secluded place. You may find yourself in a hospital, but all this can be resolved just by taking a cold shower. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, just a cold shower. Mm -hmm. So I have a different way of remedy, not the spoonful of sugar. That one is toxic now. I don't think moms would recommend that, okay? <laughs> Just a spoonful of sugar. Is it organic? Just a spoonful of sugar. Is it from Whole Foods? Okay. <laughs> Helps the medicine go down. So really? Moms give that before? A spoonful of sugar. <laughs> Moms would be dead by now if they gave their little young ones a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> All right. So let's see here what's going on. But foreign travel is definitely here. But again, uh, be careful. Mm. Let me see the tarot for you guys. Okay. I'm seeing here sudden new beginnings and ending. Okay. Because an out and a new. This is what I'm feeling for the Gemini. The after 2020, like 2024 is going to be a good time for you. 2024. So we're barely in 2022. Kapit lang. Kapit lang. Kung yung ex mo na kapit pa sa you. <laughs> Di kapit ka lang rin sa Diyos. Diba? Here we go. Let's begin. You got a page of cups. This is just you. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Oh my golly. Okay. See the Ten of Swords. Oh my golly. Okay. Six of Cups. All right. Page of Swords, Hermit, Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Oh him. Let's focus on this chemistry with the Page of Cups. You like someone, they're gonna be far from you. Eight of Wands met online, right? Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, bang, shabangles, fast attraction, it ended. Ten of Swords. I don't know why, but it was moving, 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 and someone pull a break on this. Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. You felt like it, everything was good. See, this is the time. I don't understand that kind of relationship, even for me, because let's just say, I mean, I can always share with a Gemini. I had one relationship. Well, I only had one. <laughs> and a half, if I can call it. Everything was good, and then it just ended, you know. And I was, what do you call it, dumbfounded, right? Well, I was dumb anyway. So I was young and dumb <laughs> with a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so um, anyhow, so everything was good and it just ended. Some things are just like that. It was hard to let go though because you you will not understand like why. But maybe it's just is, you know. So this is that kind of, uh, you know, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. It was, it was fast. It was karmic. It was just finishing off a karma. It, it didn't, we like to think that, okay, a lot of things will last forever. But it's really just diamonds, the beers, you know. <laughs> because that's the only thing that is forever, you know. Even friendships will not last, you know. Relationship does not last forever. Um, but this is a good kind of connection because you will find what it was purpose. The purpose was for you to realize that you can be open for love. Mm -hmm. That you can fall in love because you probably have given up. So the universe was just testing you. It's like, no, no, no. I want you to believe in love and I want you to uh, realize that there are good things in life. Because I felt like you also give up with the Ten of Swords. You're giving up on someone because you want it now. They don't want it. Shabangles. It's over. And then, Six of Cups, Page of Swords, Hermit. 
you will realize it's like, okay, I understand. We can't meet together. The hermit is a, lon- a lonely, um, you know, card. This is you being pushed to spirit reality. You really like this person. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords. But it was difficult also. It was very difficult for you to manage. It was challenging. You had to compromise a lot of things. Younger, older also. Six of Cups is a soul recognition, a soul tie between the two of you. So this is when you click. This is when you feel like, this is the one for me. You know, I'm going to be happy. And I hear you, Gemini, on that one. Um, Jupiter is in its own home. This is the ruler of your seventh house, which is good. Um, how do you say this? But Jupiter is also the obstacle in your Badaka house. So, where Jupiter is sitting in your chart, that's where actually the planet will give you a challenge. It can be from their father, because right now Jupiter, I feel like in their father, in their home, because um, it's fourth from Sagittarius. It can be car, real estate, property. It can be bed or, you know, anything that is fourth house. It is comfort house, fourth from your seventh house. Um, and Jupiter is there. So there may be some issues with the father, is what I'm seeing. Issues with the mother also. Um, issues with um, I don't know if it's like if it's like a commercial it's like mother, brother, father, sister <laughs> it's like B-E-A-M means smile smile pa rin kami it feels like the family becomes the obstacle of the person that you're dating or whoever you're connecting they may like you but they like their whoever they have you know like their bloodline, bloodline, what is this, <laughs> is very important. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know the setup, but they become the hindrance to the connection. It is a challenge. Mm-hmm. So the home is a challenge or the residence. Where they live is a challenge. They may be distant from you. Mm. And it doesn't work out from that side. But who knows? I don't know your chart. Not unless you get it in the description box below. You know, I'm merely a messenger here selling charts. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know who I am? Like, let's just say it's Zena. Like, I'm one of those people who's just selling something to Zena, and then he, she's just gonna chop my head because <laughs> it's like, I cannot trust you. Is real gold, Zena? Is real gold? <laughs> it can help you fight the monster. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and then Zena uses it and it's just made of chocolate. <laughs> Three of swords. Oh my god, undercard. I told you. Mm-hmm. But an obstacle means you will have it, which means like you will have a lot of relationship. You do know that. But so I don't want a lot. I just want one. I know. I know. <laughs> mm. Oh, trust me. I know a Gemini close to me. Oh, dear Lord. You would need 10 fingers and another 10 in someone else's hand just to count how many. How many the monkey did you see? <laughs> monkey, monkey, Annabelle. Mm-hmm. How many monkeys did you date, right? Mm. So they're saddened about this, Gemini. Five cups and the three of swords that they cannot give you what you want from them. King of Cups to the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like they're going to tell you, it's like, it's not about you. I have my life and my life is here right now. They're trying. They can be going back to school with the magician, Page of Pentacles over here. They're invested where they're at. And they're scared actually to tell you this news that where the direction of the relationship is, is somewhere that they cannot go with you. So if it's a movie, it's Anakin basically. And you're Anakin and they're Queen Amidala. <laughs> They cannot go where you're going. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. And they also want to talk to other people. I feel like they want something more open. You know? And they didn't want to tell you this. They didn't want to tell you Six of Swords, you know, because they're not sure how you will take this news. Again, Gemini, as much as I want to give you the most positive read, you know, I'm only the messenger and I look good being a messenger. <laughs> Yahoo messengers. <laughs> That's who you are. You're irrelevant. Yahoo messenger. Yahoo groups. Okay, Yahoo groups. Okay. Um, nine of one. Sorry about that. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. 
Nine of Wands with the King of Cups over here, they're terrified about this. You know, this is not something easy because, again, everything is good. They just can't be with you. And, well, that's not good. So, <laughs> Nine of Swords with the Hierophant, um, they feel like right now relationship is not something that they can invest in. I know. I know. And for you, it's just like 10 of 1's like, well, why did you even talk to me or date me or, you know, why did we even establish this? Because it was a soulmate that had its time, okay, to burn the karma with you. It wasn't the forever. It wasn't. I don't think so because dinosaur is here. Okay. Whew, child. Okay, talk about, uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm. What question do you have? Do you want to know? I know people always want the Three of Swords. I'm only going where what people always want. If there's really someone else, I'll get you that then, okay? Because I know some people obsess about that card. Is this an argument? Maybe it's just an argument. Maybe, you know. But like what I said, Three of Swords with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like they want to talk to other people. They need the space, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Now the higher fund with the nine swords. Why are they not? They're not committing to the promise. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, justice. Okay, things will be settled. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Magician, what are their next move and action? Because this is also an apology. I go for the apology after. One, two, three, uh, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the Page of Pentacles here shows that um, because what I'm hearing from them, if only you can understand me, if only you know what I'm going through, because nine of ones they have a lot of hurt. But it is something personal, though. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's why you felt left out by them with the hermit. You're also saying here, I wish you could have told me sooner. Because you felt like you were, you really felt like you were led on thinking the idea, thinking and having the idea that it is a long and lasting love. That's how we'll ever be. So we're going to go all in with the Hermit, okay? Because you're going to try to f uh, find out the answer here on how even Ace of Swords to win this connection. I sense they're giving up. You're not. You're going to try everything, okay, to make this um, commitment work, okay? So I'm hearing, I'm going to leave you guys with a song. Work, work. No, I'm kidding. No, we're not done. Okay. <laughs> it's like a radio station here. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys with a song. All right. And the song is, all right. Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna do that last yell here now in the cartoon and see. The cartoon and see is just a little bit of a spice, okay, to the read, where I see different things. All right. Someone here is eating some pretzels. Oh, I'm seeing that. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, that's a pretzel right there. Traveling with pretzel. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. let me see. Um. You will have a shoulder to cry on, though. That I can tell you. It can be a Taurus. Ace of Swords. Again, this is a different deck, guys. Okay. This is a mixture of different decks for me. Ace of Swords. Oh, and the Tower. Okay, I guess, you know, even the Carterman C. <laughs> I know. It's a life-changing event, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Things are about to change. Things are about to end. And things are just about to start. So we've only just begun. We've only just begun. Tonight. Four of Clubs, Jack of Hearts, and Four of Diamonds. I feel like you're going to try to divert your your attention to something else. Health, business, your dreams. The person is a catalyst to a new beginning in life. 
if I can share this with you, which I think I will anyway, so that I can get the sales in the extended <laughs> and I appear more genuine. I'm kidding. Okay. No, no, no. Um, there are people that we meet in our life that brings us to a spiritual path, which is the hermit, which I just had a discussion with, the, with, with another Gemini the other day is that the ending that they had was really has really strengthened their faith even more. It is a challenge, but this challenge brings you in the right direction. Not in the one direction, but in the right <laughs> in the right direction. Okay. Hi Zane. <laughs> I'm more of a Zane than a Harry Styles. I don't know. It's just me. Okay. It's just me. Okay. <laughs> so with the four of diamonds over here, it's about feeling secure. Someone's going to be there. There are four of clubs. Um, if I were to see the four of clubs, this is a person who knows what you need at exactly that moment. And someone just to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Let, let's not cry. Okay. Because I'm going to leave you with a song. Again, don't cry for me. <laughs> yes, Argentina. Yes. For the truth is Ace of Swords. I'll never. Oh, yeah, but she never gave up, right? So let's see an extent in the grand reveal. Um, someone here is also might, might break a glass. I'm seeing here a break glass. I'm seeing either your glasses or your spectacles. So be careful on that one. Um, be careful in your driving also, Gemini. I wouldn't suggest that you are going on long drives or long trips. Um, so be careful on that one. Um, I'm seeing here... Um, also, if you are pregnant, congratulations, a uh, wonderful baby is upon you. Of course, babies are all wonderful. Okay, I hope that what's my mom was thinking when she was, you know, <laughs> it's a wonderful baby. <laughs> Not like, is this mine? Or can I have the other one there? Here, the one in the corner. <laughs> so anyhow, mm -hmm. I feel like it is a completion of a connection. And you will see the beauty of this, not right now, but afterwards. But that's why there's the grand reveal with your soulmate. Let's ask, let's see, let's gain more clarity of why did we even met and have a commitment and just end it? Because I feel like it's not clear. There's no closure. When that happened to me that there was no closure, I bought a Maserati. And I definitely got the best closure. <laughs> okay. So, treat yourself. All right. So, anyhow, for everybody who wants to see the extended, the grand reveal is going to be there. I'm still going to be continuing the charts over here, reading you to filth. Okay. Um, and if you need a one-year report, six-month report, or just by the planet, you can get it in the description box below. Um, what else? And follow me at Eat, Read, Love, Inc. Also, that's our Instagram in Salbiadora. I will never DM you. I'm too busy for that. Okay, <laughs> So don't believe those scammers. All right. So thank you very much, Gemini. Let's reveal the... As soon as it started, it's just over. Bye, guys.